just gonna try. It's okay. Ah, it's more afraid of me than. Oh, look, there's a whole group. Oh, look, look, look. Small baby. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear it trumpeting? in the morning and welcome back to the channel I am in Maun in Botswana and today I'm going to some very noisy birds here there's a lot of wildlife around here um, anyway today I'm going to go for a local ride and to explore locally the road has a bit of a reputation the road I'm planning to take but um, let's see how it goes if all goes well then I'm going to do like a round trip which should be around 200 city or 250 kilometers and uh, I think only the first 30 kilometers is paved and then it becomes dirt, sand, oh, swamp, I don't know <laughs> we'll find out I'm going to ride nice and light today so most of my stuff I will leave behind I'll just bring some uh, tools and stuff just in case some extra fuel cameras that's it so yeah let's do it let's go before I forget let me show you on the map actually uh, where I am and what the plan is so here's Botswana I'm now here in Maun and I'm going to go towards this way towards the Chobi and Moremi wildlife reserve the roads on this map look a little bit different than on my navigation I don't actually know but I think I'll write something like this and then turn around and come back but uh, yeah I don't know I'll be riding in this area today it is a chilly morning winter is here absolutely okay where am I going 265 okay okay so that's a little bit more than I said before Uh, maybe that track on the side here is better because oh this ro <laughs> this road is terrible it's super corrugated Maybe this is better? Yeah. Oh, definitely just as sandy. Let's see. Whew. I'll just go back to the main road then. It's also really sandy. This is better. There's a gate here. Good morning. Thank you. Sorry? I'm going to make a little circle. I'm not going into the national park. Just follow this road, circle, and come back. Okay. I'm just saying, just riding for adventure. You just want to see the, the environment. Yes. Okay. Yes. No yeah. Problem. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be back in a few hours. I'm back. Okay. No problem. Okay. See you. That 
was a, a veterinary checkpoint again. So that must be also for the whole uh, foot and mouth disease thing. Oh, it's rough riding. The last, I think, 20 kilometers, I had to stand on the pegs, which is uh, a lot more exhausting than when you can sit down, of course. But uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> super sandy everywhere. So I'm not allowed to go into national parks in Botswana with the motorcycle. Pretty much the same as most of the parks in uh, Namibia and South Africa, actually. Most of them are off limits for bikes. But um, this road actually doesn't go through the national parks. It just borders it, so I'm allowed to ride this road. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Let's see this thing. I wasn't filming, I'm just riding and suddenly I see the one elephant on the left. And oh, another one is just crossing the road. Wow. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Although I have been seeing elephant droppings here and there. But wow. Let me see if I can continue my way. It's only a small elephant. Oh. Hi. So awesome. I don't know where the other one went. It just went into the bushes there. Can I pass? Will you let me pass? I don't know how it will respond if I try to ride past here. It's okay. Ah, it's more afraid of me than... Oh, look, there's a whole group. Oh, look, look, look. Small baby. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear it trumpeting? Look. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a tiny baby there. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Just on the side of the road here. Bye, elephants. There's been a flood here. So I think that's why this uh, detour is there, but I think now actually the water has gone down quite a bit. Can I pass here? I have to go this way. Can I go here? This way. Okay, cool. Maybe there's more flooding after. I don't know. Looks like there I can pass, but... Oh, I see a whole bunch of hippos on the other side there. Those are the first hippos that I see. And they'll be too far away for the camera, for the GoPro. But just on the other side there, they're like one, two, three, four, five, six, like ten hippo or so. So cool. Somehow I should be able to ride around here. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Really awesome. I'm almost in uh, a place called Mobabe. Well, after I conquer some more sand. 
and that Mobabe is like the kind of the farthest point of today's ride and then I like to make a circle and then kind of circle back oh hi hello of sand <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm not riding fully loaded hey oh it makes such a big difference if you have all this weight on the back of the bike or not it's just huge difference and when I reach Mobabe I'm just going to pour in I brought three liters extra fuel just going to pour that into the tank so that will help even more and then I have barely have any weight on the back just uh, some tools so uh, that will make it even a little bit easier because yeah today is just all sand riding oi i've just been thinking i'm glad i got a lot of sand practice now because if i would have been riding here in the beginning of my trip and with basanti who was so much heavier oh it would have been an absolute nightmare so uh, i'm super happy to be doing this with savannah who's a lot lighter and peppier, I would say. Well, I have reached Mababe. It's just pretty incredible that people are living here. Like, to get, to get out of here, to get somewhere, they have to ride this whole way that I came, which is like, what is it? 80, 90 kilometers of sand just to get to their village. It's pretty incredible. Hi! <laughs> Morning! Morning! Yeah. Well, where are you heading? Um, to, um, to Kwai. Kwai. Yeah. In Kwai. Nowhere. I'm just making a circle and then I go back to Maun. To Maun okay. Yeah, yeah. You are not scared of uh, elephant. Sorry? You are not scared of elephant. No. I already passed some elephant. Okay, plenty of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They are very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, which country are you from? Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. Riding. Sorry? Riding. Riding no, no. This bike from uh, Johannesburg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when are you going to call me back? Back? Uh, when are you going back to Joburg? I don't know. I don't know because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. You have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 I'm not sure if he was some sort of official or just a random guy wanting to have a chat <laughs> possibly the last tuck shop bye maybe see if they have something to eat like a little snack or something Do you have like a snack? What is those brown things? Brown things, they are midnight. They are the same like this one. Ah, okay. They're like peanut. Peanut is this one. But this one, they don't have peanut. I'll try that. This one? Yeah. How many? Just one. 
What's it called? No, I mean the it is made with the spicy. Ah. Spicy spice. Uh huh. Yeah. But is it? Uh, oh. Ah. Okay. How much is it? One pula. One pula. Oh. I'll give you ten. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Black chips. Very nice. It's finally getting warmer as well. So time to open up the ventilation zippers. Now I'm going to kind of make my way towards a another small village called Kwai. And then from there on kind of make a loop and circle back to where I came from. There's a zebra on the road. <laughs> oh, another one. Hey, zebra. You can just stay on the road. Oh, another zebra. Oh, there's more of them there. An elephant just crossed the road there suddenly. So there might be more elephant here. This is the River Kwai then, again, I think, or for the first time, I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. Another elephant. I just crossed the road here and walked into the bush there. Where did it go? See, they just pop up out of nowhere and then immediately they're gone again between the trees. <laughs> Little kids. Yo. What's your name? Sabi. Your name is? Sabi. Sabi. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Huh? And you? Kerumi. Kerumi. Ah, nice. Hi. Do you want to give books? Yo. Hi, guys. Boom. Yes. Careful, eh? Because the exhaust is hot. Careful, don't no no touching on this side. Because it's very hot. Then you will burn. Where do you learn English? In school. Very good. Very good. I'm going to continue. I'm going that way, okay? Ooh. <laughs> Bye guys. See you. Wow, he spoke good English. For an 11 year old, it's not bad. Oi, that is a tricky little bridge. I think I'll have to ride in the middle because I can't ride on those poles. Ooh. Oh dear, this is not a nice sound at all. Oof. 
The use of drones is strictly prohibited. Yes, I know. Hi. How are you? Good? Good? Do I need to register anything or I can just go? Back to my own. Oh, I thought I I thought the road was on the edge of the park, not through the park. Um, wait, I'll show you on my phone. I thought that all the time I was riding on the edges, so I didn't have to go inside. So I came from Maun, then I went to uh, Mo uh, Mababe. Mm -hmm. And then from Mababa, I took this road now to here, to Kwai. And I have to follow this road to Santavani airstrip. And then I go here and then back here on the main road to Maun. Where is Santavani airstrip? Um, here. Here. I I don't go there, but I pass it here on this side. Pas past the Moremi Southgate. Yeah, when you go to from here, yeah, you go straight to the south gate, but this road is, is inside the park. Oh, <laughs> is there another road I can take? Go across the bridge, then it is outside the park. Across the bridge, okay, yeah. and then is there a road? Yes, which goes through my barber, then to Sanku, then up to Mao. Oh, I have to go the same way back? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. When you go through the park, you need to pay. And I guess, I'm not, quite, I'm not even sure if the motorbike is allowed to go through the park. I, 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 I'm not quite sure because it has to pay. The vehicles that go through the park, they do pay. Yeah. But I'm not sure. I haven't seen the, 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 the rate for the motorbike. I, can, I, I don't mind paying. I can pay. It's no problem. How much is it? Let me check what's on it. Okay. I'm not quite sure about the uh, motorbike. Yeah, okay, no problem. Is there a lion here? No? There are. There are lion. Okay. See you, right? Right. Okay. Well, um, change of plans. I cannot pass through here. I didn't know that. I thought that the route that I had planned. Oh, now I have to do this bridge for the second time. Oh, okay. If I manage to pass once, then surely I can do it again. Um, no, so I thought that I could make a circle because I didn't think I would go through the park. I thought I would just be on the edges, but um, this appears not to be the case. So that means I have to ride the same way back um, from where I came from. And uh, that's actually a little bit long. <laughs> uh, it's going to be an extremely long day for me because um, it's now 12 o'clock, so it's noon. So it took me four hours to get here. And since I have to go the same way back, it will take me another four hours to get back. So that will be eight hours on the bike because uh, I barely stopped. I've just almost been riding continuously. Say hi to the kids. <laughs> so, uh, whew. yeah, that's going to be a long day. But hey, such is life. Can't have it all. Hi. <laughs>
<laughs> They're pretty fast. They're really fast. Oh, there's my friend again. Bye! <laughs> so here is the detour again. Ah, here you can see that it's flooded, yeah. So I have to take this one. The detour past the hippos. See if I can see the hippos again. I have to be a bit careful with hippos. They are very aggressive and territorial. And they're supposedly the most dangerous animal on this entire continent. They kill the most people per year. A lot more than lion or any other predator like that. It's the hippo that actually attack the most people. Sand, oi, oi, oi. Now, that group of hippo that I saw before, they're gone, so I don't know where they went. A giraffe just ran right in front of me. See, it's th it's there. Whee, that gave me a fright. It just came running super fast from here. See, it's now <laughs> standing there looking at me. Did I scare you? Oh, you also scared me. to work so super hard today oh it's really tough going and uh, oh Savannah also has to work really hard today she is getting a beating like you wouldn't believe oh it's just corrugated thick sand sand pits oh going. Keep on riding. Don't lose speed. Ah, Shorobe. Look at that. <laughs> I am back on the paved road. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was not easy. It is now 2.30. So, well, I was quicker on the way back than uh, on the way up there. But uh, yeah, 2.30, so I rode two, two and a half hours, just straight, no stopping. <laughs> beast mode, beast mode. So now it's actually about 25 kilometers left to uh, back to where I'm staying. And uh, that's a good thing because I'm also almost out of uh, fuel. I only brought like one extra fuel bladder instead of two. Because I didn't want to bring so much uh, weight. But uh, that also means that I'm almost out of fuel. <sighs> anyway, I am absolutely broken. <laughs> that was really ooh, tough, tough riding, really tough riding. But also really, really fun. And I saw elephant, I saw a warthog, I saw a bunch of hippo, oh, speed bumps. What else? I saw impala, zebra. So not bad for not even riding in a national park, but just uh, on the edge. So I think it was a pretty good day. Um, so now I'm just going to uh, right back and yeah take a rest really 
So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I will see you in the next video.